Hello everyone, this is Akiko Sudano. Let me check where I am. Welcome. Hi, I think I'm ready. You see, oh, that's not showing. What do I need to do to make this go? Well, that's all right. Hi, Patricia, this is Akiko Sudano. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! dealer in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And thank you for joining me. And today I have uh, a little uh, project to make with uh, th that uh, uses the... Uh, all dressed up dies, I think they're called. All dressed up dies um, from the new catalog, and it's uh, a little tote bag with uh, some note cards, uh, some little three by three note cards. Hi, Chi, welcome. And um, this is this is the little note card, and it uses the um, the dies. And um, my 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 kind of I, I kind of thought of a theme to go with today, and uh, the theme was let's. Um, uh, let's use up our scraps because um, in order to make this, you need it. Uh, I'll show you. Let me show you the uh, the all dressed up dies first. These are the dies, and they go with the the uh, dress to impress stamp set. So you see a lot of the uh, dies that cut out the um, images from uh, the uh, the stamp set. You see the flowers and the shoe and then the lipstick and the perfume bottle. But then you have all these other other uh, different shaped dies that um, you can use to create this little tote bag with. And um, so that's that's what my project is for today. And, um, and I used um, the uh, Best Dressed Designer Series paper to to make that with and for each of these little tote bags you need to use two of the um, same kind of uh, paper so that it you, and and basically you cut out two of these um, these uh, these dies like this and um, this is the top where it, it you can see where it's cut out a little bit like that and it's got this kind of angular shape on it and then it's got all of these uh little um little uh uh um, not yeah, score lines for uh making your folds and then these extra flaps for gluing things with so you've got you you cut two of these and then you've got then you've got these long ones and that makes your um straps so you cut two of these so that you have a strap for each, the front and the back. And then I cut one of these to make the, uh, the little pocket for the front. And then this little guy right here is um, to make uh, a, um, if you wanna have a, uh, 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 kind of a, a, a clasp that folds over like this, but I, I didn't really decide, I, I thought I would use it, but I decided not to use it because I think that um, one of the things that you need for this is you need to make sure that you have some way to um, uh, attach it and not attach and and open it up and um they they have the sticky velcro which i don't have any of that you can use to open and close that with but the the um the uh, uh toe comes like this and um it, and you can also it also has a, a thing where you can uh make a, a bag like this and this would be really really good for having the um strap in the center and it's got the the pleats on the side here you can see and then this this one i've got the back is um is just plain but i put the little pocket in the front there and um when I, when you have it like this i i discovered that it's the perfect size to hold two of the Ghirardelli chocolates. They can go right inside there like that. And you fold it up, fold the insides up, and it's like that. And it's a, a, a cute little, um, that would be a cute little, um, uh, 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 a little treat bag like a party favor or something if you're doing, if you wanna do something like that. Um, 
always, always, uh, there's always, it's always a good time for chocolate. And uh, they fit in there pretty nicely. Or if you leave it open, which um, that's that's the way I decided to do it. And um, and I made four little um, three by three, a set of three by three note cards that fits in there nicely. And uh, Stampin' Up! has these little envelopes. They're a little bit bigger than three by three. And um, they'll, uh, so you, they'll they'll fit a three by three note card. So basically what you do is you take a, a piece of uh, card stock and you cut it six inches by three inches and score it in the middle and fold it over. And then you have th these cute little, these little areas. And the thing about using um, the, uh, uh, best dressed designer series paper for cutting this is that you end up with this this um, it, it takes two of the six by six um, papers and so you end up with all these little pieces and they're perfect for adding little accents to um, these three by three note cards and they end up being so cute and so then you get you just get another little die cut or a little punch and in, in for these cases I found the um, the little butterfly and the these are from the well-written dies. I think it, they, 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 when I saw this person, the cat and in the catalog, Patricia, this was, this was, I said, oh, I have to have that because it's just so cute, that little tote bag. So I agree, it is so cute. So the um the little uh, the little butterflies are from the well written dies and um then I also used um the um the little heart punch from the stitched all around um set for making some of the ones that I did in in, in today's paper and tie a little ribbon and a little bit of coordinating ribbon just a little coordinating cardstock you can emboss it too and just little scraps of all your little scraps of paper that coordinate with um what you're using and just um, make a, 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 you can make a nice little set of cards. Um, and in this case, I made four of them and I got four of the little um, envelopes for the three by three cards. And um, you can see they fit perfectly in, uh, in the little tote. So you have a nice cute little tote with, uh, with note cards. So that's 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 um that's the project that I want to show you today. Now with um making 3D projects, so it you, you you need to cut two of these. So I've cut two of them and you can see all all of the score lines. And one of the things that I found when I um um, did it is that you want the only thing that when you're using designer series paper you want to make sure that they're uh, you, if they if they have a, a, a top and bottom design that you are consistent so that you don't have one side of your purse be upside down that's the only thing I think that there is in, in terms of a gotcha for for making this so you have all the score lines and I didn't really use a bone folder to score them but I, I did um, go ahead and first scored all the uh, score lines so that I could, um, so that you would have some flexibility. And then this center one is a little tricky because it, it comes um, to a, a, a point here and then these um, score lines go kind of um, off of it. So you wanna be careful with that. And, um, and it's, pretty pretty forgiving and it but and the other thing too is once you once you get all the pieces uh, uh, put together then uh, the uh, structure itself will help to um, keep uh, keep the uh, keep the uh, keep everything in place for you so the first thing after you get it all die cut is um, just fold it on the score lines just give it a little gentle kind of crease so you kind of get a sense as to what it how it's supposed to go together and these you've got these little flaps that reinforce it and I just kind of tuck those on the inside and I do the scoring with both of the pieces do the folding I should say along the score lines with both of the pieces and just kind of be gentle with it And 
And this is the tricky one, the tricky little angled one again. I guess it makes sense to fold that little flap down first and just get that little side there and then get this final flap there. Good. There you go. So the next thing is um, is that you need to get some uh, some uh, strong double sided tape, and the um, the the Stampin' Up Terran tape is really really good for this um, because um, they they used I used to have to get this red tape, and it um, it had to be cut, but the, with the Terran tape, it's actually um, um, you can tear it with your hand. Hopefully, my, my screen's not updating, so hopefully um, my video screen's not updating. But you, you see, you have it like this, and then you can just rip it, and it, 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 it scores it. It tears it pretty well, pretty easily. So I put a, a piece on each of the side flaps here. But 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 the key is with with um, th with 3D projects like if you're making boxes or if um, any any or um, like those uh, pillow boxes um, is to make sure you have a uh, a strong adhesive that's uh, that that dries quickly and is easy to handle and that's why this Terran tape is just is just so nice to use because um, you don't have to it's strong so it'll hold things for you and it um, it doesn't have to be uh, it, it, it you don't have to wait for it to dry and then also on uh, the little pocket here I uh, put I, I taped put tape on the edges and left it just in case I don't know what I would want to put inside it but I left it so that I, you could, if you wanted to, put something inside it. Oh, this one is just a little too long. If you just tape the edges here. So I'm gonna just clip that because I think it'll be easier. There we go. Stick that on the side there. And then Put another piece on the side and put another piece on the side. There you go. So that you have a little area here that if you wanted to put some uh, put something inside of it, um, then you could still do that. Um, then you just pull this off. The um the tear and tape um will have like a a backing so once once you get the uh if you've not used this kind of um, adhesive before it it's got the backing and then it leaves the um the sticky double sided tape on uh the paper and so I'm gonna go ahead and um uh, adhere this uh, to my um my bag i'm going to go ahead and put it hopefully you can see i'm going to go ahead and put it towards the bottom here and that will be that'll be the front of my bag and i think that while i'm at it i'm gonna i went ahead and i cut these uh little hearts and i cut these out of the um the stitched all around there's uh the um the all stitched all the the stitched labels dies. There's this little heart. But also, if you have like dies or punches that are small with like little flowers, then and you can use um, those um, also to decorate um, all these little things. And I'm going to just adhere a little bit of liquid glue to this and put it down on on my pocket so that the pocket. It's got a little bit of interest, and that coordinates with with the um, with the background paper. Okay, so I've got my pocket, and this is going to be my front, and I've got my two pieces, and I've got um, I've got them uh, them uh, I've got the tape on them. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull the backing off of the uh, uh, the 
flaps that adhere that go to put this together and um, then uh, then put this put this together and what I did the first time is I checked to make sure I was I was okay on the top first and then follow it all the way down and make sure that you're kind of like that I'm, I'm sure there's a better way but I think that's good and then press it real good press it real good and then you've got those two pieces together and then you want to do the same thing to the other side pull the um Pull the backing off of the, the adhesive. It's not wanting to come off very easily. Let's pull it from this side. There, okay. And you can see it's still got the sticky down there on the little flap. I don't know if this is going to... Now, I'm going to have to pick it up. So, again, I'm going to start with the top. And make sure that I've joined things nicely and then follow that crease so that the um, outside edges join in and and the uh, the bag is shaped a little bit wonky so you're you gonna it's gonna end up being mm -hmm, I think this one I didn't do all that well but it's still it's still good there let's let's see let's make sure this is pressed real good and then they're adhered together then i fold the side flaps in and then i fold the back down and then i fold the front down but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put another piece of this um uh the the adhesive don't lose my buckles just on the um, just on the edge of the flap here I think I'm done with that can you see how I put it on the the um, just on the edge here and that's the edge of the front so that the the front will fold back so that from the front it looks nice and clean and then I'll pull the backing paper off. And make sure that I'm there. And then press that down. And then I'll take my bone folder and go on the inside and press it real good from the inside. And there we go. And you can, can you see how on the inside you can see the design and, and how all your, these little perfume bottles, this particular paper has the perfume bottles, but you can see how everything's uh, all right side up and how that would be kind of funny if one side was um, upside down. So, so that's, that's, the, that's basically how to uh, make the, um, the thing. And then I'm just going to, you know, check, check my folds, check it. Um, I'm not going to typically go the in this way because I want to have it be um, have it hold the note cards I'm not going to give use it for chocolates but I'm good just just play with it a little bit to make sure we're good it's good there okay now let's start making the uh, the uh, the straps the handles handles for your bag so what I did on and and for this one I um, chose to use uh, just uh, some daffodil delight um, cardstock and um, the um, the uh, dies has um, two two of these little dies and what each of these cuts out two um, two of these little buckles so you can you can so I just did one of each of them so that I ended up with four buckles and you can see that you also have the option of of uh, these are these are buttons 
I didn't choose to use the buttons, but that's another option that you can um, use um, as well. So you can design, it's basically, a, you design your own bag. So I basically, and I, I decided to use Daffodil Delight cardstock instead of using um, any kind of metallic cardstock, but that, that's also an option. So, um, and I, 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 I put the um, buckles on um, just so that that's a little bit, so that there's a little bit of the, um, uh, of the strap showing through the one end. And then I got my glue dots. And what I did is I basically put two glue dots and I kind of straddle it so part of the glue dot is on the strap and part of it is on the buckle. And put two on each side. Same thing. Some of it's on the strap and some of it's on the buckle. Then go to the other side and do the same thing. Two glue dots. Okay, and then and this is where it gets it it, it, it gets a little because you want the um. Let me see. I'm losing my computer here. There. Okay. Oh, and now I have a, a, a thing. So then I just kind of bend this a little bit, flex it, because the paper, the cardstock is pretty stiff. And then I just put it um, on here, and, and I think there's a lot of different ways, but I just, um, I just um, designed it so that the, um, the, uh, uh, so that the corner of the buckle aligns with the where the uh, little uh, dip is in the um, in the um, uh, in the bag, and and press that good, and and with with the um, you're gonna find a little pressure. You're gonna find a little that the cardstock is fighting you a little bit, and I didn't really try to. Um, you know, bend the cardstock any. Um, I don't know. I I I'm not sure it what um, whether that's something that should be done or not. But I just uh, left that as it was, and and it seems to be fine. And so do the same thing with my second strap. Put the little buckles one on each end. Put it up a little bit. And then put two little glue dots on each buckle and strap. So excited that the new catalog has opened. It's just so many beautiful items. I think that the Stampin' Up! catalogs just uh, in the past, past year, past two years have just have not disappointed at all. They've been fabulous. Each one has been, their design team has been really great. And it's so exciting with the celebration starting and, um, oops, so that's good, that's all right. Celebration starting and the new catalog opening and the new year starting. And okay, and then just kind of do this again with same thing with the back. Just align it up with the um, edge of the paper and the, the corner of the, uh, the little cutout there. And uh, same thing here. And put it put it down and press. 
press it good. So you're going to get a little bit of flex with that, but that's it. So there, there we go. The little note bag is done. So the the uh, note cards that I made for this bag, I basically took the um, um, just basically squared off um, different pieces of the um, the leftover designer series paper, and um, added some little bows and um, little die cut some more of these little hearts and some embossing and um, just different uh, pieces of uh, coordinating cardstock for the um, which we call it and, and here I went ahead and I stamped the um, uh, the stamp from uh, the uh, from uh, the stitched all around dies and it um, it's pretty and it, it actually th this um, this uh, has the same kind of sentiment as the uh, 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 the uh, the uh, the dressed uh, the best dressed stamp set dressed to impress the dressed to impress stamp set. It's got the same sentiment, the same font, so it it the same kind of feel to it. And there you go. And those are that's four sets of little three by three note cards that um, each of these uh, little. Um, little tote bags will hold and um and you can um design that and it's such a simple and cute and i think it's the cutest little project so en enjoy um all of the new items from the new catalog and thank you so much for enjoy uh, for joining me and i really hope that you enjoyed this little project today so bye bye thank you and have a great day bye everyone